What's up, guys? So, at the end of uh, next year, in December, John Cena will re be retiring from the WWE. So, at the December pay-per-view, which is... I don't know, remember what the December pay-per-view is. But uh, that'll be his official retirement uh, pay-per-view. Whatever the December pay-per-view is the next year. And... This is a big question that everybody asks, but first of all, go check out uh, the group right there at the top, up there at the top. Go check them out on Twitter, and I believe they have a YouTube channel, so go check them out over there. And they have a .com, which more, you can tell that just by reading the, their name. But th this is not, it just about went out of it. So this is the big question that everybody's asking on John Cena's final last run, his final run in the WWE. He's officially retiring after next year. It says, do you want John Cena to become a Grand Slam champion or become 17-time world champion? So he has opportunity to do two things he's never done in his career. One, he's never been the Intercontinental Champion. So until he wins that belt, he can't be a Grand Slam champion. And he has the chance to break uh, Ric Flair and his world title run like both Ric Flair and John Cena both have 16 uh championships uh each and John Cena is one away from breaking that record and more than likely like maybe they'll let him do both of these in his last year but more than likely the 17th championship is makes the most sense like it makes the most sense. Having, I, I think you'd have to wait till after WrestleMania because I think you're going to have Cody Rhodes. Well, I guess you could have him win the Raw title because I think Cody Rhodes is going to take on uh, Cody, Cody Rhodes. Uh, yeah, Cody Rhodes is going to take on Randy Orton for the title probably at WrestleMania. Uh, Roman Reigns is going to take on The Rock. And you'd have John Cena versus Gunther if he's still the champion or whoever the champion is uh, going into WrestleMania. And then have him win the belt at WrestleMania and then drop it in December to an up-and-comer. That's the route I would go in. I don't think he really needs an Intercontinental title win to go on his record. He has a pretty awesome record without that win. And I'm not a John Cena fan. I can't stand John Cena. But I understand what he does for the business. And... His last run will probably be freaking awesome. We'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I'll boo the hell out of him, but I booed the hell out of him his whole career, so why stop now? But, like I said, which one do you guys think he uh, should do? Should he get the Intercontinental win and win the and be a Grand Slam champion? Should he get a 17th title win? Or should he get them both? Let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, and share. We'll see you out in the next video. Peace. Like I said, go check these guys out on Twitter and YouTube and at their .com. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you out in the next video. Peace.